Hi guys. It is another hot, smoky day. Here in the end times. This is 86. It feels a hell of a lot hotter than that to me here on this oppressive Sunday afternoon, August 8th, 2021. And uh, I just have to get this off my damn chest about it. <laughs> You know, being an Airbnb host, a little bit different than being a hip camp host. Get a little bit of a different clientele on Airbnb. So anyway, you know, I've got the Maggie May, the USS Maggie May, my little 16 foot camper for rent. So this dude, this young man, he's up here from North Carolina and working a two week job on uh with a solar company is what he told me coming up here from north carolina so he rented out the maggie may for two weeks i'm assuming the, his boss is picking up uh that tab for the maggie may and uh so anyway this fellow i mean he looks like he's about 19 he's probably about 22 really nice quiet young fellow from North Carolina so he comes up here never been here to upstate New York in his life uh, and you know renting out a a camper on 14 acres of land out in the country and stuff working for a solar company so I just figured this guy could not be entirely clueless well he gets up here and uh, of course he looks like he just stepped out of the Krispy Kreme donut shop and like the first question out of his mouth is where can he go get a pizza he wanted to know the closest place that no no he wanted to know whether anyone delivered pizza to bugs in a jar farm when I gave him the mad bad news that as far as I know they did not he went in search for a pizza and then, of course, I guess the second most important question on his uh, list was where was the closest Walmart? And then he wanted to know if my internet was fast enough to power his some sort of X bot or some sort of game video game thing. Thrilled to see that it was. So what this young man does for the solar company uh, is he drives a big machine, a big fossil fuel powered machine that uh, he calls it a pile driver. Uh, I guess that he sets, um, we're getting ready to drive by one of these big solar farms. I'll have to uh, go look at this thing to illustrate right what I'm talking about. You know, these, these big solar farms are all the rage. These save the planet solar farms up here in the Finger Lakes and they're putting in new some new giant ass solar farm you know covering some mountain and so his job is to drive this tractor and uh, whatever a pile driver is I guess it's like a big ass post hole digger or something uh that is about as much as he knows about uh much as he knows about solar power is how to drive a fossil fuel powered uh pile driver to uh put these you know this thing up the, these uh giant solar panels all over the side of a mountain uh where is this thing it should be coming into view shortly and so anyway he does that all day and then when he gets back from work he goes directly from his air-conditioned car usually with a pizza under his arm and disappears into the maggie may which is a 16 foot camper well you guys can't see the giant solar farm so i guess i see what he's talking about what his job is that's not a good view of that solar farm unfortunately uh, so anyway he gets back home and he immediately walks directly from his car into 
the 16 foot camper shuts the door stays right there playing video games uh, till midnight every night and uh, I mean he shut all the windows I didn't even know there was air conditioning in the Maggie Mae so he's figured out how to turn on the air conditioning so all of the windows are closed he shut the blinds he can't even see out the window uh, uh, you, you know to the beautiful grounds of bugs in a jar uh, he has exactly zero interest uh, exploring uh, anywhere around here he lives to play video games uh, and eat pizza and he says he hates his job but I guess it pays for his you know driving this fossil fuel powered machine around putting up solar panels he hates his fucking job but it pays well and I guess it keeps him in pizza and video games uh, the, and this young man, as far as I can tell, has zero interest to go see a damn waterfall or, uh, you know what I'm saying, or go kayaking or anything else. Uh, and it just, it just really says how fucked we are. And who this guy reminds me of, if by any chance you have gotten sucked down into this cesspool on, uh, on Netflix, about the who drew the dicks called American Vandal. I, uh, I am embarrassed to admit as part of my research to be a chronicler of the collapse of uh, global industrial civilization uh, and the American Empire, I have watched every episode of American Vandal which is getting to the bottom of who drew a bunch of dicks on the sides of these teachers cars in this high school and the main character who I think his name is Wayne is it Wayne or is it Dwayne but the big lummox uh, you know the central uh, figure in uh, American Vandal uh, reminds me very much of this young man uh, whose entire uh, purpose in life uh, is to play video games and eat takeout pizza. That's what he has devoted his life to do. And as far as I can tell, he has nothing else that ever enters his mind. Uh, but hey, it's easy money. And I did this thing on Netflix, man, it's, uh, I, I am very uh, conflicted about this damn uh, American Vandal. Uh, it really does suck you in. I mean, anyone who believes for one fucking second that two tenth graders uh, made this, you know, they, they lead you to believe that two tenth graders made this documentary, and then at the end, of, you know, in the credits roll, there's about 10,000 people who made this documentary. And so what it's based on uh, is these is these high schoolers with their YouTube channel that Netflix discovered their YouTube channel and ran their algorithms and found out that with all of the YouTube channels out there they decided to center on uh, two 15 year old kids uh, trying to figure out who drew the dicks all over the teachers cars and they made an eight part series out of it they managed eight part you know four hours over four hours of my life i put in to finding out who drew a bunch of dicks on some teachers cars in some uh, high school somewhere and uh, I, I have to admit, I got sucked into it like anybody else. Uh, I would like to see Netflix call up uh, Hambone Little Tail to do a, uh, an eight-part series on how fucked we are. And uh, now I've gotten all trapped down into uh, this. And so now there's another one beginning, and it's called Brownout. And what it is, instead of dicks on the car, I guess it was a high school prank 
somewhere in the Pacific Northwest where I guess some prankster put something in uh, some sort of spice or something in the French fries in the, uh, in the school cafeteria at this high school that gave the entire high school severe diarrhea at the same time where, you know, at one time over, uh, you know, probably, I don't know, a thousand, uh, a thousand kids uh, were shitting their pants. Uh, you know, all the, the cute little cheerleaders with diarrhea running down the backs of their legs and shit, uh, trying to figure out uh, who was the prankster that uh, started the great brownout. And so am I gonna spend, am I gonna spend four hours of my life, four hours of my life uh, watching a show about a bunch of clueless fucking moron teenagers shitting their pants after stuffing their faces with french fries. Uh, but Netflix is making money hand over fist and I'm sure these kids uh, you know you know who, who did that did the segment on this guy drawing the dicks on the cars uh, you, you know these guys are set for life I mean I don't know how much money they made from this one project but good lord uh, these guys are, are, are set for the rest of their life and I am embarrassed to admit uh, it was a hell of a lot more entertaining than uh, a blue ocean event. Uh, you know, who drew the dicks on the teacher's cars? Who made everybody shit their pants at the same time? Uh, is a lot more interesting uh, than, than, you know, Greenland melting or the fucking Amok collapsing. Imagine uh, if, uh, if Netflix uh, gave as much attention to the Amok collapsing as they did a, a, a bunch of high school kids shitting their pants. Uh, you, you know, at least we would have a, f a few more non-clueless morons, but nobody wants to hear about the fucking Amok collapsing. They want to hear, they want to know who the fuck uh, drew the dicks on the cars, who put the diarrhea stimulant in the french fries. These are the probing questions that, uh, you know, that American audiences are clamoring for. It's uh, shitting your pants and drawing dicks. Uh, and we're fucked. But anyway, oh shit, I have to, I forgot to buy a, uh, a new dish towel for the new kitchen. The new kitchen will be finished either today or tomorrow. Do you believe we are finally at the last chapter of the new kitchen? And I will be bringing you that video and we really, really appreciate everyone who pitched in to uh, funding the new kitchen. And I wanna thank Brother Rob, realize, realize, realize uh, for his fine work on our new kitchen and uh, come uh, see us at Bugs in a Jar Farm if you can peel your way yourself away from American Vandal and find out who drew the dicks. What do you think little dog? Who drew the dicks? And I can smell this cantaloupe in this car. Draw your dicks while you still can. Bye, guys.